Okay, our, our first guest, the Benediction Food Truck. Let's bring in James Caples. What's going on, hey, James? How are you? Would you get that out of there? I need a drink. <laughs> okay, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? You're real good. You know Nate? I'm, no. Hi, James. James. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Now, uh, Benediction. Benediction. We all know what the food trucks are. Tell me what the Benediction means. Uh, benediction is a Eggs Benedict sandwich. We, when we started the food truck, we wanted to start a restaurant. We didn't have the money. We decided to start a food truck instead. Uh, but Eggs Benedict doesn't work too well on a food truck. You've got poached eggs roll all over the place. Trying to poach an egg on a food truck isn't exactly the uh, easiest thing in the world. So we had to modify the recipe a little bit. We do it with a fried egg, and we did it as a closed face sandwich so that we could uh, make it a little bit more portable. So, kind of like a gourmet breakfast sandwich. Exactly. What yeah. else is on that? Um, well, we've got the traditional. We've got bacon. We've got uh, one with pulled pork bacon, barbecue sauce. Everything's named after songs, so they're called like The Weight, The Joker, uh, Mr. Jones, things like that. <laughs> yeah. do you, do you Mr. Have the Jones? Sauce? What's we do. in the Our, Mr. Jones? Uh, Mr. Jones is crab cake with balsamic marinated onions and peppers. Wow. Yeah. Wow. The, the lead singer of Crowning Crows is from Baltimore, so. Oh, all right. I, I, I get it. Uh, weird now, reasons. What, what, what's your food background? Well, I worked in corporate restaurants for years and years. Uh, I've worked for pretty much every major corporation there is. I jumped around learning how to cook different things, learning how to manage different concepts, and finally got to a point where I said, I, I can't work 12 hours a day for some guy in Colorado anymore. If I'm going to work 12 hours a day, it's going to be for me. Mm -hmm. so. so you went with the food truck. Yeah. Uh... When you first started the food truck, it wasn't like the food trucks were having an easy go. It's like right when you came out, things kind of closed we're, down. We're still not having an easy go. Um, what, you know, what's the problem? City of Fresno's laws you know, are, are something that are kind of in process. And the last one that they came up with, we as the food truck owners call the uh, ice cream truck law. We can legally park on a city street for as long as it takes us to serve somebody who waves us down. We can't stop and wait for somebody to come. We have to be... Somebody has to be waiting for us. We can stay there for as long as it takes to serve them, plus 15 minutes, and then we have to leave. So for you know an ice cream truck, that's perfect, which is why we call it the ice cream truck law. Uh, but for people who actually make a, a pretty gourmet, you know, made-to-order product, you know, it's just not a reasonable amount of time for us to be able to actually make a profit. So what we're working on right now is putting together some events that are held on private lands that fit within the constraints of the law that we'll be able to get to serve a little bit more often. So with the food trucks right now, there are really only four or five days a week to do what we do, and really only for three or four hours a day. Who, who's making the problems? Is it, is it the brick and mortar restaurants complaining? You no, know, I don't know. You know, and that, that to me isn't really the important thing. We, we, we're in a society that we can make a change to it as long as we get the public support behind us saying that we want more food trucks, we want food trucks to be able to operate in a great way. And I think, I think there's a misunderstanding about why we do what we do. You know, there, there was a time where there was an article printed in one of the local publications that called us unfair competition to restaurants. And I don't see that as being true. You know, Dusty Bun started as a truck, opened a restaurant. We started as a truck, opened a restaurant. We have a cup, we have the Casa de Tamale started as a restaurant, opened a truck. You know, it's, uh, there, there are a few different, I think Mariscos de Colima also uh, started as a truck and opened restaurants. And to me, it's like beta testing software. You buy the truck, it costs a quarter of what you're going to spend opening a restaurant, and I know because I've done both now, and you have the ability to go out and figure out who your clientele is, who eats your food, who doesn't eat your food, which recipes do they like, which recipes do they not like. So when you finally honed yourself down to a point where you're making enough money that you can say, I can open a restaurant now, not only do you have a better idea of what you're doing food-wise, you also have a client base built in that you're able to work off of while you work out to build the rest of the client base that you need to survive. Uh, talking about your menu, let's crack open these right here and see what you got. Well, we've got um, some of our breakfast and some of our lunch. This is the... Are we going to do breakfast first? Yeah, breakfast okay, first, good. of course. Uh, this is the traditional egg bag wow. sandwich. It, it's been sitting in a box, so it doesn't look as no, beautiful as No, 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 it's wow. Like, Bring but. it over here. <laughs> <laughs> so that's got um, our hollandaise sauce, fried egg, uh, grilled ham, and then uh, on the English muffin that's toasted. Our hollandaise sauce, because... Just like poaching an egg on a food truck, trying to keep hollandaise sauce the exact right temperature and consistency is very difficult. We modified our hollandaise sauce to be made with canola oil, so on top of being slightly more shelf-stable and making it a little bit easier for us to be able to keep it on the truck, uh, we also managed to reduce the cholesterol level by about it's half. It's a little bit more oh, healthy, too, yeah. right? That should make a lot of people okay. happy. Yeah, you know, Let me see here. One more time, what's on this, James? Uh, that's grilled ham, fried egg, hollandaise sauce. 
on a toasted English muffin. Runny mm. yolk, of course. Oh my god. It's so good. It, it's so messy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that the that the yolk was going to explode. Like, it, it, well, it's not it's not eggs Benedict if you don't have a runny yolk. Yeah, you know I, I really appreciate your attitude when he asked you about you know who's causing the trouble. It's pretty clear you don't have an axe to grind. You just oh. want to you know follow the diplomatic process to make things better. I want all restaurants to be successful. I spent, well, I want all locally owned restaurants to be successful. There you go. And to me. Locally owned restaurants fighting against food trucks is is a horrible way to look at things. I mean, we should all be working together to increase the local market, increase the share that locally owned businesses are getting in the restaurant markets in Fresno, because it's way out of whack compared to most of the rest of the country. I mean, the amount that we as Fresnans sir or eat at corporate restaurants compared to locally owned is is pretty insane. But if you ask most Fresnans off the top of their head, name five restaurants, at least four of them will almost always be corporate restaurants. Hmm. Ask him to name five food trucks, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, uh, this day it's getting a little bit easier. Uh, I've had breakfast now. What's for lunch? Right. So this is this is my favorite sandwich that we make. Um, oh, this one's cut this in half. Is, you can have some of this, this one. This Nate. has got the fries but, that we serve in the restaurant, not the food truck. Uh, the sandwich is called Too Legit to Quit. It's a Cuban sandwich, a fresh hoagie with ham, scratch made pulled pork, mustard, and uh, we call them truck pickles. They're pickles that we make ourselves. Wow. This is and a big cheese. sandwich too. This is this will fill you up. Yeah, we we don't believe in skimping on on what we're serving people. <laughs> now you said that you, we talked about the food truck. Talk about your brick and mortar. Uh, the brick and mortar is at three zero one five West Bullard. It's the southwest corner of Bullard and Marks. We opened it about seven months ago. Nice little spot. We've got six tables. You know, it seats about thirty, and you, we we do what we can to keep it as full as possible all the time. What is that again? It's called Too Legit to Quit. When you go there, get the two legit to quit. That is delicious it's right my there. Yeah, it's my favorite. Is it? Yeah. What so, else? What else you serve, James? Oh, for lunch, which is really, I mean, I think it's easy to get people into the breakfast restaurant that's got the egg and bacon for a guitar as a logo. Mm -hmm. Getting people to come for lunch is something you have to spread your mind out a little bit. But our lunches, I think, are just as good as our breakfast. We've got that one. Um, our fat bottom grilled cheese you had last time I was here. It has six different kinds of cheese in and on sourdough bread, so it's got a little crust on the outside. Uh, you know, we've, we've got a Philly cheesesteak and black and chicken sandwich. And then for breakfast, you know, we've got all the different eggs benedicts. There's nine at any given point, with, including the specials. And then we've got some burritos. Um, our pancakes are killer. I, I came some up pancakes? with pancakes. Well, I'll bring them next time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm coming to you this n next time, buddy. Uh, are, are you somewhere today? Um, today is Thursday. Not today. We'll be out tomorrow night at Gazebo Gardens, and mm -hmm. then we'll be out Saturday, Sunday during the day at Enzo's Table out at Shepherd and Willow, and Saturday evening we'll be at Tago Sequoia for the Galaxy. That's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. Yeah, thanks a lot for the food, and thanks Thank for you. coming by. It's always good it's to see you, man. Good to meet hey, you. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back on the buzz. Stick around. <laughs>